Welcome to Start Coding. This is your Divya. Uh, in this video, we are going to talk about uh, return type. I'm going to explain how to how to return the values using methods. In the previous videos, you can see how to install NetBeans, how to create a new project, everything you can see in the previous videos. So now I'm going to get started because I already created a class. So I'm going to start as it is. So here we are having a return type class and uh, there is a main method public static void main. What is return type? It's a type of data the method send back to calling method. If no, if you don't have any data, you can use the method value is void. Otherwise you have to use which which type of data you're going to return so let's get started how to declare a method name okay i'm going to display three methods like name age and uh, is is blood donate you are going to uh, if you are if you are under the age you cannot donate blood if you are above the age you can donate blood here I'm going to just print the value whatever I'm giving because as a beginner I don't want to take it more complicated. I just want it to do very simple. Okay. Now I'm going to create a method display name. In this name method I'm not returning anything so if you don't have anything to return you can use void and the name of the method is display name the method name should be an identifier it does it should not be any keyword and it should not contain any spaces In this, I'm going to declare a string. String name equal to, I'm giving some value xxx. Then I'm going to print it. Print the name. Okay. The next one is display age is the next method. So is this also a static method? If you create a static method, you don't need to create an object. In this, I'm going to return the age. Whatever I'm giving age, it should be return. So for that returning, the age is the integer. So int display age is the method name in this i'm going to return an age 20 okay the next method is i'm going to declare it as a boolean so public static boolean is blood donate Here, I'm just declaring same return true because if it is a boolean, the, the value will be true or false. I'm giving true. Okay. I declared, you know, I just uh, give all the display name, display age is blood donate, all the method I give. Okay. I want to call invoke this method. How? You have to use the calling method. So call the method display name the next one you are going to return the value of a age for that i'm declaring int age equal to now call the method display age okay then I 
I'm printing this H. Then the next one is, is blood donate. I'm going to print the value of the, the value that is going to return the method is blood donate. Okay. So Boolean this donate is the variable, Boolean variable. Then I'm calling the method his blood donate. The same way I'm going to print it. Is donate. Here you can see the differences. The first method is display name. He, the, the display name, the, it doesn't have any return type. So we are using void. The next one is display age. It is going to return the age. The next one method is bless, is blood donate. It's a boolean method. Okay. So it's gonna return, it's going to return a value true. So that's why whatever it's going to return, the same data type has to be used. If it is here, it's going to return the value, return the type integer. So I can use only integer. If it is going to return Boolean, I can use the data type Boolean. I cannot use uh, here it is Boolean, then here string. It will, it will show an error if I'm using it as a string. It will show you an error that is change the type of is donate to boolean because it's going to return a boolean value so it should be a boolean okay so let's check the run this application Now you can see the value, it, fir it first returns the name, the next one age and is donate. Finally, we come to the end of the video. If you have any questions, please comment here. If you like this video, please thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to share with your friends. To get an automatic update, click the bell icon. See you in the next video. Thank you.